What is up Jacked fam and welcome back to another YouTube. So today we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day because they're personally the most highly requested video that we get all the time. I was planning last night like trying to think of like some recipes to show you guys because I always love sharing you guys recipes but to be honest it is so hard for me to like plan what I'm going to eat because literally every day I'm just winging it. I'm just eating what my body feels like. I feel so fussy at the moment because I'm only ever eating what my body craves because otherwise I just don't feel like eating. This morning all I have had is just a juice. JD wakes up every single morning and he makes me a fresh juice before he goes to work. Bless his little cotton socks. But I'm a little bit hungry right now. It is nearly 10 o'clock and I think I might just have a Vegemite on toast because that's literally all I feel like. So let's go make that. Okay, confession, I am making another piece of toast that was so good. But as while it is cooking, I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about what I have been doing. Like I've been doing a bit of research about why we crave these certain foods during pregnancy because a lot of women do crave oranges, Vegemite and like whole grains and like cereals and stuff like that. And that is because they are high in like B vitamins and also folate as well. Folate is so important to get while you are pregnant. You can get that in the form of food, but it's always good to take like a multi vitamin. But it's pretty crazy to know that our body already knows what it needs and the reason why you need folate is because it does help with neural tube defects such as like spina bifida so you definitely need to make sure you're having a lot of folate i just find it so interesting that our body already knows what it needs <laughs> really need to do the shopping so there's not much that I can really choose from but what I felt like was making my own homemade chips instead of having tomato sauce I'm just going to dip my chips in this organic diced tomatoes I'm probably just gonna crush them up a little bit more I'll put my own like spices on my own homemade chips as well so I'll show you guys the end result <laughs> What up? Okay. Hey. We are just on our way to the gym. We just um, jumped. Oh, yeah. We just ducked in. Shut up, Alan. You shut up. Alan. We just ducked in and went and got some fruit and vegetables. And I went and bought myself this probiotic drink. It's um, raspberry and lime. It's a probiotic sparkling drink. So it's kind of like a kombucha. So this is going to be like my pre-workout. JD's having some. Oxy sweat. And we're gonna go and hit a workout and then we're contemplating maybe getting some takeaway for dinner. We're not quite sure, we're just gonna see how we feel. Contemplating, I didn't say anything about it. I, Mama got craving That's yet it. again. We're out the front of um, like this vegan Chinese place and it's just giving me all the feels. So yeah, we'll see you guys after our workout when we have dinner. Holy jolly. Guys, it's happening. We end up getting some vegan Chinese takeaway. We've got a sweet and sour pork, and we also got a satay chicken. <laughs> I just have to do the quotation so people go, oh my god, you're eating meat. No. I know I said that I don't like, want, this is really hard to do, don't really stomach like mock meat. It's just certain mock meat. I think it's more like it's the cooking process. process, whereas this is already cooked, so I don't have to smell it being cooked. Can I just clarify that I didn't actually want the takeaway. It was this one, and it used to be the other way around. Oh my god, I was now so she's bloody hungry guys. She's hungry. I'll show you what we got. The satay chicken, and these are like, this is sweet and sour pork, and that's the 
sweet and sour sauce, and we've got some brown rice. And for dessert, we've got a Vigo bar to share. Would you like to wrap it up for me? I'll wrap it up for you. Hope you guys enjoyed my full day of eating. It's definitely not the same as what I was like when I was like in comp prep or like trying to lose uh, weight. Uh, I'm literally eating exactly what my body feels like. Basically, mama see, mama want, mama get. Basically, that's how it goes, is I get cravings and that's what I want, that's what I want to eat. And there ain't no stopping this. There ain't no stopping We're gonna have our Vigo bar. Turn it off. No, I'm not craving chocolate that much. Guys, like really is if you haven't had one of these, what are you doing with your life? Because honestly, this this is the best vegan chocolate you'll it ever is. have. It is. But oh, I have God. not been craving chocolate, eh? Nope, she's been good. I've been really good. More savory stuff. Yeah. All right, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Really supports Subs our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the little bell button so you get notified every time we upload, and we'll see, see you in the next one. Yeah, probably just broke the lens. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you do not know us, I'm JD, this is Amy Kate, and together we are Jacked Vegans. So today we're going to do a bit of a Q&A video because we have not done one for a while and we are Long getting time. pounded with